afternoon, a tense search in Harvard Square. Dozens of police officers raced in, suddenly shutting down roads and sidewalks. Those officers were searching for a Philadelphia murder suspect accused of killing his own father. And today they put him in handcuffs hundreds of miles away from that crime scene. WBZ's Anna Redis Rodriguez is live tonight in Cambridge with more on how officials were able to track him down. Anna Redis. Liam and Lisa, we just got an update from police within the last hour, and they tell us that this was the work of multiple local agencies and federal authorities. They say that the fugitive has ties to the area, and Cambridge police were tipped off to his whereabouts last night. We just hear a stampede of people running into the into the mall here, and like, get down on the ground, get down on the like, cops screaming and stampede. A bunch of people started running into the store. Brian Simonelli was working when he says he noticed a rush of people stormed the mall below his shop. The cops had chased this guy in, tackled him to the ground right here. The arrest of 31-year-old Sohan Panrolia ended a brief but intense manhunt in Harvard Square. I was walking out of Sweet Green right there, and I just saw this whole like big crowd around me, and I just saw the police putting this guy in a car. The fugitive, considered armed and dangerous, was wanted for murder by Philadelphia police. Late last night, early this morning, we were informed by the U.S. Marshal's office that uh, the suspect may have fled to Cambridge. He previously resided here in Cambridge and attended school here. Investigators say Penrolia shot and killed his father with an assault rifle Saturday night. 48 hours later, sources tell WBZ Philadelphia police alerted Cambridge police to be on the lookout after the suspect's ATM card was used at a nearby TD Bank. Earlier today, a Harvard University police officer spotted the car Penrolia was believed to be driving. Moments later, a Cambridge police officer saw the suspect sitting in Harvard Square. He was sitting, using a, it appeared to be using a laptop or electronic device when he was taken under custody. Penrolia will be charged as a fugitive of justice at his arraignment in Cambridge District Court tomorrow. But that's the latest live here from police headquarters. I'm Anaritis Rodriguez, WBZ News. Anaritis, thank you. This is also breaking tonight.